lost a shoe already. <laughs> Good afternoon. Thank you for coming back. We're so glad to have you here. Hi, friends and out here I haven't seen in a long while. I'm so happy to be back in Fayetteville and so pr uh, proud to present this concert for you this afternoon. So you'll notice in your program at the top it says to be selected from. Uh, this concert is one of the reasons we're doing that. We're not going to repeat the pieces we sang this morning. We feel that hearing them once is probably sufficient. So uh, on the first section of the concert, all you will hear from us this afternoon is the William Byrd, Ave Verum Corpus, followed by Henry Purcell's Birthday Ode for Queen Mary. <laughs>
So the only thing I don't like about this arrangement is you can't see our amazing accompanist back here in the back, Miss Susanna Casso. I hope you'll read her biography in your program. Uh, we're lucky to have her with us on this tour and every day in our rehearsals. So I want to tell you a little bit about this uh, school and this choir. Uh, you can read much more about it in your programs, but we are a part of the Texas Center for Arts and Academics in Fort Worth, Texas. The Texas Center for Arts and Academics, we call it TCAA, houses two schools. One is the Texas School for the Arts, and the other is the Fort Worth Academy of Fine Arts, of which we are a part. So the boys uh, you see before you range in age from fifth grade through twelfth grade. So quickly, we'll see if this is a test for you. Raise your hand if you're in fifth grade. 6th, 7th, 8th, 
ninth, we don't have ninth or tenth graders, eleventh, twelfth, one senior. He rules them all. Not, not really. <laughs> Uh, anyhow, um, this group starts in third grade with a training choir that works for two years together. Uh, that group, by the way, is conducted by Dr. Amy Prickett, who some of you know very well. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> She's hiding out in the back, helping with production needs on this tour. Uh, and then they continue in the fifth grade, either into our treble choir, and then some of them are lucky enough to be put into this tour choir, which travels. You'll notice in your program, we're going to travel internationally for the first time since COVID next year. We were invited to sing at the wedding of, of the daughter for, of a former U.S. ambassador. Um, and we were very excited about this invitation because the wedding is in France. So we're singing at the American Cathedral in Paris in October for that wedding and a week-long concert tour. And then next summer, the following summer in July, we're going to Greece for a week. Um, so these boys are getting a good taste this week of what tour life is all about, learning how to live with each other in a room for nine days, um, away from mom and dad, and with big brothers they wish they never had sometimes. Uh, the next set of pieces are all based on literary, a literary theme. The first three are all based on Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland. So first you're going to hear a very quirky little arrangement called Lobster Quadrille by a Minneapolis-based composer, Matthew Culleton. Uh, secondly, you'll hear Father William, another rather quirky piece uh, by Irving Fine. Um, and then finally, based on the theme from the Disney musical Alice in Wonderland, or show Alice in Wonderland. We're going to sing that theme song and we'll feature soloist Hudson Nichols. Ready, walk a little faster, send a waiting to us now. There's a porpoise close behind us and he's treading on my tail. See how eagerly the lobsters and turtles all advance. They are waiting on the shingle. Will you come and join the dance? Will you, won't you, will you, won't you, won't you join the dance? Will you, won't you, will you, won't you, won't you join the dance? You can really have no notion how delightful it will be. When they take us up and throw us with the lobsters out to sea. But Master replied,
too weak for anything tougher than suet. Yet you finish the cruise with the bones and the beak. Pray, how did you manage to do it? In my youth and his father, I took to the law and argued each case with my wife. And the muscular strength which it gave to my jaw has lasted the rest of my So we're headed up to Eureka Springs tonight. We have friends of one of the boys who work at the Crescent Hotel. So they're very excited about the ghost tour and the morgue in the basement, all of those things. So with that in mind, we had to bring back two pieces we sang last fall for a Halloween concert. So we're singing a little piece about Edgar Allan Poe titled Dark and Stormy Night by a Fort Worth-based composer named Mark Burroughs, who you will hear a little bit more about here in a minute. Uh, and then secondly, um, a Shakespearean text, Double Double Toil and Trouble from Macbeth by Finnish composer Jaco Montiervi. Two. 
First thing about being a choir director is standing arrangements, I swear to goodness. This is our first trip, first concert out of six this week, and almost every piece has a different arrangement. I've already made like four mistakes, but just pretend it was all the way it was supposed to be. And they just smile at me knowingly. <laughs> so this is a piece of music that is not for the faint of heart. It has some text that might cause a few to squirm just a little bit, uh, but we, we think you will certainly enjoy Double Double Toil and Trouble. Christ the brinded cat hath Christ the brinded cat hath Christ and once the head pig Christ and once the head pig Oh he cries his heart to his heart to his
So our spring concert is coming up here in a very few, no, few number of days when we get home, and it's going to be the day before the big coronation. So it's, it's kind of an interesting concert. We're going to do coronation music on the first half with the pipe organ, and the second half we're going to move to a church's fellowship hall, and it's going to become a baseball game. And it's going to be all American music. So this last set today is all American music. The first two pieces you'll see are about trains. We have Sacramento Sis Joe and then the King Singers arrangement of I'm a Train, followed by two baseball pieces, Ball Game by our Changed Voices, and then a world premiere. You are the first audience to hear this piece uh, titled Who's on First? And as you guessed it, based on the old Abbott and Costello sketch, um, it is a hoot. You are sure to enjoy those and then I'll tell you more later <laughs> So that last piece is um, something that TPC is kind of known for. We do a lot of Western performances, as you can guess. We did not bring our cowboy hats on this particular tour, but we sang an entire program of Western music for the birthplace of Western Swing Festival. If you didn't know that existed, it does. So if you want to go swing dance, I think it happens annually in Fort Worth. Um, the next piece, um, though it's based on a train, is very English um, in its composition. You might recognize this from the 1960s or 70s, the King Singer's arrangement of I'm a Train. Give me a 
One of the amazing things about teaching at a charter school for the fine arts is that we have so many opportunities to see these kids face to face. Um, so everyone you see on stage today, I see for 10 hours a week, which is amazing. The only way we can accomplish this sort of music is having that much rehearsal time. Um, the, our uh, female component at the school has a very similar program called the Singing Girls of Texas. They also have 10 hours a week of rehearsal. Um, so it's an amazing combination um, with the academic faculty to make that a reality. Um, and we are actually not on spring break. I've been asked that question a lot. Um, but, but this is part of the mission of our school, is to send us out on these sorts of experiences. So we have some wonderful chaperones, some faculty chaperones that are with us on this trip who help make that work. Um, bring the Chromebooks when the boy forgot theirs um, so that we can all get our homework done this week on the road. So. Um, I actually see the men, the changed voices you see before you, separately from the trebles for five hours a week. Um, and so we have our whole separate set of repertoire. We're just going to sing one of those things for you today. This is a very lighthearted version of ball game. Strike 
Strike one. Strike two. It's a home run at the old ball game. Play ball. So the composer of this next piece, Mark Burroughs, uh, is someone I went to school with at Texas Christian University. And I talked to him about this baseball theme and he, his eyes lit up. And he said, I grew up with that piece. He said it was the first cassette tape I ever had. I listened to it on a Walkman on repeat over and over and over again. So it became a very natural idea for us to do this chorally. So he decided he was gonna divide the boys in half, Abbott and Costello here, and they're gonna talk back and forth to each other, and they're gonna have this conversation that became so famous. So, you have a baseball team? I sure do. Would you mind sharing the players' names? Nothing would make me happier.
I did it again. So we're going to sing two pieces by Aaron Copeland. The first one is just this group here in front of you, but you may change position. Uh, many of us know Simple Gifts, beautiful piece, um, very brief, but we couldn't sing Copeland without singing that for you. Uh, and then the very tongue-in-cheek, I bought me a cat. And please know this is not a political statement. It's just a fun piece of music. <laughs> Working with your spouse in the same environment doesn't get easier when you sing about buying a wife. I just want to point that out. Miss Casso looked at me with the oddest look, our accompanist, when I brought that piece forward, and she said, does Amy know? 
It has been such a pleasure to be back here with you after so many years, I think 14 years, if I'm counting correctly. Um, you've been so hospitable. We appreciate so much you being here this afternoon. Uh, we have one last piece for you, I Hear America Singing, and it features two soloists, Daniel Sauls back here and Ethan Prickett over there.
Thank you so much. Have a wonderful afternoon.